Hey guys, EvilGenius4545 here, back with more Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. In the last episode, we actually finished up most of Ancient Lake. Is it? No, it's not Ancient Lake. It doesn't actually have a name. The first area. And we're about to go inside this door, which we will do now. And you guys will get to see our first minigame. It is Fire Mountain. It's probably my least favorite minigame. I just... I don't know. It's not really fun in my opinion, but what you gotta do is you come in the middle here and you grab these eggs and then you bring the eggs back to your little platform here and it'll flash for a while and hopefully no one will steal it because as I'm about to show off, that's another big part of this. You go up to people's nests if you do it right and never mind. Never mind, you don't, don't, don't steal the eggs. That's okay too, you can just have Conker fly in front of you and take it from you. Okay, but we grab that egg like that from their nest, they lose it, and then we bring it back to ours. So that's basically the whole thing here, we're just trying to hope that they don't steal our eggs. Banjo just got one, someone's probably about to go take mine. Oh, 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 alright, good, he didn't get it in time, we actually managed to get it to stay there. Once it stops flashing, it's yours, and they can't take it anymore. We're gonna come get this. We gotta keep an eye on Banjo now, because he's got two eggs already. And he's our biggest competition right now. If he starts to get a third one, I gotta run over there real quick. You know what? Oh, oh, go, go, go. Cannot let him have that egg. Okay. Oh, get out of here, whoever that was. It's not your egg. Come on. Come on. Alright, alright, we're doing good. Now, all I gotta do here, drop this egg down. This usually doesn't work out, but it's worth a shot. I'll sit right here and just wait. Some someone's coming. There's someone. Where are you at? Alright, okay. That actually went really well. I actually did a little bit of a practice recording of this. I skipped that. It's pretty much the same thing. He flies in, gives us one of those. But I actually did a little bit of a practice recording of this. Because I found out that uh, my videos that I had been uploading weren't in the resolute or uh, the quality that they normally were. And I know I don't really need 720p for a Nintendo 64 game, but I kind of want it anyways, just just because, so I knew how to figure it out. And so I did a little bit of a test video to make sure I was recording in 720p. And I was now, so I've got that all figured out, and now we got to talk to this friggin' elephant again. Hover challenge. Okay. This one's really easy. Uh, they're all really easy. I think I said that before. You pretty much just need to drive. If you can drive, you can do this. But, oh. Oh, I lied. I'm gonna go mess up. But yeah, there's a secret behind that waterfall. We're actually gonna be seeing areas now that we haven't seen yet. So, yeah. The island's not really that big. That was pretty much all of it right there. We've actually seen it all now. And you got the beach out here. We actually came out here before. And now that we're driving past that, I guess I can show that off. If you see there, one of those question marks was filled in. That's for the five trophy races, I guess there is. And we actually did one of them, if you remember, in the last episode. We actually completely tore through them, except for on that last race, we got a second place. But other than that, we did great. I think we're allowed to just... Oh. No, I lied, we're not. Alright. Well, we get to do that again. I won't bother cutting because I don't feel like doing doing work. Plus, took me like two seconds anyway. Let's go crash into a bunch of walls. Come here, you stupid elephant. I hate you. Oh yeah, he sings, if you, if you couldn't tell. Challenges. Hover challenge. We already did the car. Well, let's do this again. Let's not cheat, even though he was going to lose big time anyway. It's not like it matters. But we got to start over anyways because he's... We're gonna not see about how to race. Gotta stay in the water. It's cheating otherwise. Of course it is. And then I guess well no. No, I'll save that. If you remember the first two balloons that I got were kinda out in the hub world. I think there's maybe two or three more. I think it's just two, but there's two more that I need to go get, but if you see that one up there, it's up on a ledge and I can't get that until we can use the plane, which I don't think we could do until we actually do this race with the guy. And that won't be for a little while. That up there is actually our next world, but of course we're kind of in the middle of kicking someone's ass, so we can't go in that world yet. But we will get there, 
hopefully soon. Look at how far back he is. If you see back there on the map, or down there in the bottom right corner, he's like way back there. We still got one more lap to go though, unfortunately. It only took us 33 seconds for that last one. Not bad, not bad. I'm okay at driving hover boats. But I think I was, oh, touched the land for a second. I'm glad they didn't think I was cheating. I think I said before, I'm not sure if it's true, but from what I've seen, uh, Timber, the tiger dude, is like the best with the hover boat. I always used hover boats as him. Like, even in car races, I would use the hover boat and just drive on land. It was pretty fun. I think he has the best handling with it. But yes, of course, we kicked this guy's butt. He's gonna give us a balloon. Thank you. Actually, hey. Come back here. Give me my balloon. See, I always had trouble with this, like, driving the hover boat and trying to get that balloon. There we go. Okay, you know what? I gotta find out. Can we actually use the... the plane? Because we need the plane. Oh, we can. Okay, I lied. Uh, the challenge just doesn't come for a little while. But yeah, uh, we are actually done with the first area now. I don't think I actually mentioned that, but... We finished the mini game, the trophy race, and all the normal races, including the two boss races, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Since I can fly now, let's go get the balloons. Might as well, I mean, we're out here. No, there's one up here. Right? Yeah, there it is. Ow. Friggin' tree, get out of my way. Give me my balloon. There we go. Okay. And then... Other than that, I don't think there's any other ones. Let's look. We got this one back here, right? And then there's no other ones around the islands. There's nothing up here. I uh, no, there's that one other one. Maybe one more. We'll find out. Let's go find out. Why isn't this plane faster? Oh, oh, a little too fast, apparently. Okay, let's get this one up here. Perfect fly. Alright, and then there's one other secret area, it's a level back here, and there's no balloons. And we can't even go in there yet. Okay, turn fast, thank you. Alright, so yeah, let's just, let's go to the second area, world, bunch of levels, I don't know what to call it, section. Isn't there a balloon somewhere in here? No, I'm insane. Alright, enough stalling, let's go! This is, what is this? Doesn't have a name. Oh, it does. It's Snowflake Mountain. What was the other one then? I don't know what the other one was. I didn't know they had names. All right, Everfrost Peak. What is this? I know I will remember it when I see it, but I won't remember it till I see it. Oh, yep, I remember this one. No, oh, we get to fly. Forgot about that. Get ready. Yo, finally I hit the the blue again. Never hit that. Alright. This is another pretty easy race. Maybe not so much on the Silver Coin Challenge. This is where they kind of start to get tough. The airplane ones are the toughest. In my opinion. Maybe. Yeah, because I know of one airplane one that's probably the hardest one to do. Because where they put the stuff, it's not even like in your path. You have to go way off out to the side to actually get to some of the coins. And we'll choose this. That's always fun. We are still just completely destroying them here. They, they don't even stand a chance. We're about like halfway as he ahead of them. Maybe. Almost. I wanna see if I can do this. I know you can use those zippers down there, but I don't know how you do it. You have to like push yourself into the ground, but I don't know if you can even get low enough. Like this. Nope. Okay. Because whenever you get low enough, it uh, puts your wheels out. And I think whenever that happens, it counts you as on the ground. But, I'll see if I can get it. I'll try on that one that I almost had it on before. Maybe in here. We'll see. Well, no, because if I do it in here, then I have to skip the one above. Maybe not. And it doesn't really work there, but... I know it's possible. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Here, let's try here. Maybe not. I wasn't really on the ground there. But let's get a photo, well, not really a photo finish, but... Oh, yeah, there was a person in last. And into the tree. Hey, go away! Okay. 
Alright, so that was Everfrost Peak. What's next? Walrus Cove. You know what, I'll do one more race. We're at 10 minutes now, but it doesn't really take too long to do these races. Is this one? Uh, this is one where you can kind of get screwed over. Get uh, I always press it too early. It's later than you think it would be. Alright, when I get this, I think you want to save it. Because you get a loop-de-loop. -loop. That's pretty neat. Alright. Whoa. Alright. Oh, darn it. Okay. I always get screwed up at that part, because I never... Oh, I press Z to turn. Whoops. If I don't know if I actually showed that off, but you can you can skid. That's pretty neat. I'm pretty bad at it most of the time though. But that actually went pretty well back there. All right, let's see if I can make it through this. If you touch the ice, I'll probably show it off at some point. Not on purpose, but I'll probably show it off. But it actually will bounce you and slow you down. And I was about to talk about that power up that I had picked up before, but I ended up picking up this one again. I actually don't think I mentioned that power up. The ma the power up that I had before is the magnet. I'll probably pick it up again, so I'll show it off there. But the magnet, basically, if there's someone close in front of you, you can use the magnet, and it either I think it pulls you towards them. It might pull them towards you, but I'm pretty sure it pulls you towards them, and so that'll help you get ahead of them. And of course the more magnets you get, I think the stronger it is. Maybe the further the- there you go. Show that off. The further the distance is. Either that or it pulls you faster, but I don't know. Can't really use it right now though, because I'm still pretty much just tearing through the competition here. Hmm. I've never really been one to try to like speed run any of, the, any of these levels, so I don't actually know what my fastest time is or anything like that. I'm probably not even close to the fastest time. There's probably people that just skid through the whole level. Not like that. Not pressing Z. Oh, man. But, I'm sure there's probably people that are just completely insane at this game. I've only ever played against people in my family, so I don't actually know how good anybody is. But, I'm at least good enough to actually finish the game, so that's good enough for me. And that race actually took longer than I thought it would. It took two minutes. So, skip this. What am I doing? So I'm stretching. Okay, so, yep, that's all the time we have for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Later.